Hey guys, Ray here from Two Gaming Girls, and today we're going to start a new series. We're going to start a architectural timeline series. So, I was thinking that maybe we would cover some of the architecture from key points in history, starting in the Neolithic era, moving through things like the Greeks and the Romans, uh, the Renaissance, moving through the postmodernism, and maybe ending up in some sci-fi kind of build. I think it'll be neat to change it up and and do a couple different things. So uh, I started with the Neolithic. I did some research on Neolithic architecture and I found the Scarabray, which I had seen it before, but never really gone into any details about what it was about or what it was used for, or just anything. So I found out it's off the co uh, coast of Scotland. It uh, held anywhere from 50 to 100 people at any given time. There's about 10 houses that make up the village um, and they would have mounds over them. It's uh, really well preserved so there's a lot of images I can use for inspiration. I'll put some of those up now. Uh, we're gonna go find a location for our, our little village. So I found a nice little area over here. It's on the edge of the ocean. And I really like it because not only is it on the edge of the ocean but there's also a nice tall cliff edge that we can use so we can have plenty of room to dig in. And dig in is what I have kind of done already. Uh, this is not gonna be the actual thing we use. I just wanted to test it out and see what blocks would look right. I started with the stack stone, which is kind of what they actually use, what, you know, stacking the stone, but it just, it's too rounded for me. It looks too castle-like. So I tried the limestone and it, that's not quite right, but I kind of like it better. It's also not something I've been working on in the Viking village. So it'd be nice to, to switch up my building materials and try this out. Um, I also tried to work on what the ground was gonna look like, because of course this isn't all gonna stay dirt all the time. So I'm thinking I might go with sandstone and use that as kind of the ground cover. Um, I might go out and do a little bit more searching to see if there's anything else, but right now it looks like we're going to go with the limestone and the sandstone. So I'm going to go collect some more of both the limestone and the sandstone, and then we will start to mark out where we want our dwellings to be. So I've gone out, I've farmed up some limestone, should be enough to get us started. I also farmed up... Um, the sandstone, but while I was farming the limestone, I kind of looked at the sillstone. I thought, you know what, I think this may be a better ground choice, especially if we mix in the mold and mix it up so it's, you know, kind of looks like it's overgrown a little bit in certain areas. So I'll show you what that looks like. I took some pictures to just kind of see what both would look like. And yeah, this, this just flows a little bit better. The other is kind of muddier looking. And I think with the very light lime, limestone, that this lighter sillstone, similar crack pattern, but um, we can one, mix in the mold so it's not all one floor type, and then two, um, it's just lighter, it, it matches better. All right, so now we need to pick out an area and make our first little home. I'm thinking this one will be the one closest to the edge and we could start somewhere around here we're gonna do six and then we'll do diagonal we're gonna make a circle and put that back in we will get rid of it but just so I can get the outline that's four do another six three four Perfect, and then we'll come back in, and in the middle, we'll take out one more. I think that should work. Let's try that, and we'll go up and see what it looks like. So I'll finish digging this out, and then we'll check and see if our circle looks decent enough to, to get started. So while I was making the circle, I checked back at the images I found online and realized that these houses weren't really circles, but more like rounded squares. So I've squared it up, rounded off the edges some, and now we're gonna start laying out our limestone walls. Take out this area over here, start placing it in. 
and I'm gonna go all the way around this rounded square and I'll be right back. All right, so we finished up laying out the ground and I've already put in two doors. I put one on the north side, kind of along the coastline and one headed more inland towards the east. So we can connect it to, um, I'm thinking maybe the main road this way and maybe one of those kind of chambers off to the side that way. Um, but what we need to do is clean up these doors now. So we need to kind of get the post and the um, lintel going over it. And I believe they used to use really kind of thin, long pieces of stone for these. And thinking I might want to try something with the, um, maybe having the half slabs instead of oops instead of a of anything else I, I was looking at all the different stone pieces and I think these create the best kind of like slab look so I'm gonna try that I could do it that way let me try something else over here um, maybe stair in the corners and do the half slabs like this. Maybe have them come down the side like that. Let's clean it up. So we put some limestone in the corners. Cross the top and we're we'll pulling the bottom down here. And where is that? That's the mold. Where is this system? Sorry if you can hear all that computer noise. My computer isn't happy at the moment. Alright, so there's two different options. Maybe... Maybe something that goes along the outside as well. Add more relief to it. I mean, that looks pretty major compared to this one. Although maybe we keep both, you know, like this is supposed to just be a chamber off the side and this is supposed to go to the main um, kind of hallway. So maybe that one is a little bit bigger and designed differently. Let's um, clean up the bottom here. All right, so we have our doors. Um, and I also, um, they would, across from the main entrance, so I guess if this is the main entrance over here, they would put in a kind of dresser that was, again, these kind of st more stone slabs. Let's see if we can build a dresser using these half slabs, kind of mimicking the way that they did it. Actually, I think it, it might be a little bit longer. Let's copy these, but put them over one more. Take these down, copy these, put them over one more. Take these middle ones down. Because I think we should have it kind of like this. There was a divide in it often. But if we do that, we won't be able, maybe we put a solid block because we won't be able to put any shelves in correctly on this side if we do that. Um, ugh, maybe we should have made it an odd number. Okay, uh, but no, the doors need to be even. I like that better. So let's, do we want to use actual shelves? These were thicker though, so I don't think I want to use actual shelves. Looking at the pictures, these were pretty monstrous. Something like that. And then, what do we do up here? Let's try. Let's see what this looks like when we get down. It looks weird, but it was ginormous like this. Um, those corner pieces, I'm not a huge fan of. I mean, 
we put stairs in, that'll be too thick, I think. Eh, we could try one and see. It's gonna hang over too much is what it's gonna do. Alright, let's not do that. Let's copy, paste, copy, paste. We need to divide down the middle, I believe. Let me double check um, the image for this. And yeah, it's... Oh, it slab goes in the front, though. So we could try... We could try something like that. Or... Hmm... What else could work? Okay, we're gonna leave it like that for now. Well, maybe I'll come back and play with it some more. It's only supposed to be inspiration anyway, so we will keep things like this. And now I think I'm gonna play with the roof because I need to know if it's gonna be open to the air or if we're gonna close it off before I do too much more on the interior. So let's, let's play with that. We need to figure out how to make this corner go up towards the center. The size of course should be pretty easy. So let's start here. I think we're going to need a couple of inner corners as well. Maybe like this. Like that coming all the way around to here and then we repeat it just a step in from the other so all right I'm gonna go ahead and finish this pattern all the way up on this side and then I'll come back when I have that done and we can see what it looks like kind of liking it from the outside I'll have to jump down inside and see um, what it looks like there let's just capture this of having to rotate. All right, so it kind of looks like the mounds that they used to have going over, and, and those kind of had a rounded top. It you know flattened at the at the top rather, and it didn't round all the way. But I'm thinking maybe we might have to go one more level. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Um, the other option is we could leave it kind of like this where it's a little bit of both so there's a hint of it being rounded but then it's still open to the elements um, maybe yeah maybe we'll leave it like that um, if you have an opinion on whether we should fully close it or half close it like this or open it back up uh, feel free to drop a comment down there and I'll see what people say but right now I think I'm gonna leave it like this yeah um, so next let's go ahead and bust out what our main um, corridor is gonna be or should we finish you know maybe we should finish the side room so we'd be done with this other than kind of the interior decorating and actually let's first go ahead at least have the dirt doing the same thing. I'm gonna clean up all the grass and then we're gonna start in on the chamber. All right, so we're done with the dirt for now. Um, I'm gonna leave that little green ridge line for now. I kinda like the breakup in it, but we might come back later and add another row of dirt so it's all clean. All right, so let's go knock out another little area. They used to have little cells um, off to the side as an additional chamber. I'm not sure what, I'm still trying to find that out why they were using these. Let's turn my light on. So I'm thinking for this area, um, they weren't that big. They were just a little pocket. So this, if we line the walls, this is, let's go too deep for all of it. And then back here take this out I'm 
Right, I think that will work. All right, I'm gonna go take down all the dirt and line it with limestone and I'll be right back. All right, the world is coming in here to check out our new chamber, uh, but we're done. And I think I'm gonna leave the grass for the ceiling for now. And we just need to add in a floor, which we can quickly do. I wonder if we should bump these back out one more in the middle since th that would make it look a little more rounded. Let's do that. Limestone in. Bump these back one more. this back as well and I might bump this one further so we do all four of these and then these two in even more that work take this out limestone in in our floor. Something like that. Alright, let's add some torches so we don't have too many spawns in here. We'll come back later and um, figure out the exact lining. So we need to take out around the door as well. So I think for these we just did a simple um, half slab turn sideways. Let me double check. Yeah. So let's put in something here as well. All right. So let's get these guys out. I'm gonna put a door on this thing. Oh my God! Stay out. It's a lovely chamber, I know, but out. We'll do that. Uh, half slab. All the way around. Like that. Alright, so I think that's our chamber. Okay, now to work on some of the decoration in the main room. Uh, they used to have right in the middle. What's the middle? They would have a fire pit area, so I'm thinking uh, I've made some fire, uh, what are they, fireplaces, fire pits, um, and I'm going to place that in, but I'm thinking I'm going to line it with, should I try the limestone still? Let's try, let's try the limestone, we'll see how that looks first, and then we'll put the fire pits. In the center and then I'm thinking we're gonna use that the same stone to just kind of outline this like so that works um, now we need kind of the living area and now the way these were actually done was that when you would come in to the left would be a small bed and to the right, a larger bed. Um, and they found a lot of um, jewelry and things like that in the left bed. So it might have been, I think it was during that time period where the men got a slightly larger bed anyway. So that might have been some of it. But we're just going to kind of decorate this however we want. So we might break it up. They did use to um, divide the rooms up a little bit. So we could add in... Uh, another room and they would do it kind of like this where it was just kind of in the middle maybe something like that and then we'll have a, a bedroom in here versus just the bed all right so 
Maybe we have the bed there. Put a nice, I don't wanna, well I guess I can move that to some other location. Just do a basic one there. So in that case, maybe we'll put the bed over here and then table there. And do we have chairs? We have chairs. Let's put a chair like that. So you have your own little room. And I think we need to go up a little bit higher for the room. But I don't think I want it to be as tall as the rest of it. I think we're going to leave it at three. Uh, and then we need, I'm just going to put some torches in here for now. So we'll put one over there, one over here. And so that's one room. So I'll go get a few more items so we can finish decorating this. Okay, we're back and I have a few more things, but looking at it from an aerial view, it's starting to take shape. I think it'll look a lot better once we have carved out a lot of these and it's not just one hole in the ground. So I want to sprinkle a few of these around so it's kind of overgrown in certain areas. I think we'll put it where there's mold already. Not too bad, but just a little bit. Uh, what does this one look like? Uh, that's a bit much. Let's not do that one. And what about maybe in the corner where it's darker? It's a really super dead area. Okay. And then I uh, uh, crafted a few more items that we can play with. Um, we'll put some chest in. I crafted the shelves. We'll see how the shelves look. I'm not sure if they're going to work out. Um, but maybe there's a weapon rack in here. Put a sword in there. Maybe just one. Um, maybe we'll put some of these in there. So it's clear that it's storage. Maybe this corner over here has more of them. Uh, maybe we can add, I don't know, it feels so limited with what they would have available to use and what we have available to use. You know what? Uh, I don't want this video to be too long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go craft a few more things. I'm going to play around with it some, and then when I have something I like, I'll come back and show you guys what I've done. Alright, we're back, and this is what it looks like from the outside now. It's definitely a mound in the ground. I brought it up by one more level, so it's a little bit higher now, and I leveled it off by one block all the way around uh, the sides. On the inside, we've done some work as well, and we're going to start over at the entrance and move left and around. So over here, it's pretty much the same. I did take the one room and make it into three rooms, though, with two smaller rooms on the side. This is more of a storage area, which I need to add a few more things on the shelves later. The center room has a new design, so the fire pit area leads now into that center room. We had I moved the door from the side over to the center. We have the edging around. We have kind of a half uh, step up doorway, since those are steps at the bottom, slabs, and more steps, um, and kind of little pillars off to the side. Uh, this inside area is pretty much the same, only added um, the placemats here. Going back out and around, we have our another room, a smaller bedroom, just pretty basic. Uh, this corner is the same. We added the storage and the bookshelves to our dresser area. We have some food sitting kind of areas around the fire pit. Might add a few more things around here later. Then we have some flowers leading into our chamber. 
which is now a bathhouse. This isn't something they would have done themselves, but you know, we can take some liberties and decorate it the way we want. Um, I think it's a great start to our Scarabray village. I think once we have more of these all connected together, um, it'll really start to take shape and, and, and look pretty cool. So for now, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like and subscribe.